It is almost six o'clock. We're waiting for, actually, Dr. Carter could not make it, but we are probably going to bring John, John Warlick, our CEO, is going to be stopping in to chat with us today. Listen, this is our new logo, like I told you guys last time. And if you can see that high peak and then the low peak, the positive pressure and the low pressure, that is what makes our device so unique to any other medical device, okay? And we got some cool updates that we're gonna be doing today. Hey, Matt, it's John down, and how are you, sir? Is that John Warlick? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. John, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to some, some slides first, and then uh, we're gonna chat with you. Just give me two minutes here while we go through them. And that's Sounds again, John good. Warlick, he's our CEO from TRT. And okay, guys, don't, but shock waves in everyday life. They're low intensity shock wave therapy. This is regenerative therapy. I'm showing you see them every day. Examples might be lightning and thunderbolt, right? A shock wave is a type of propagating sound disturbance that moves faster than local speed of sound. So when a jet plane goes through, uh, breaks the sound barrier, it's traveling at 767 miles per hour. The way we have set this up, we have an electro hydrology produced sound wave. John, you might have to mute it a little. Everybody have to mute. What, am I okay? Yeah, everybody mute, just there. mute for a second. There you go. So what's cool about the TRT device is that it is, a spark wave within water. So it's electrohydraulically produced sound waves. And in water, they're moving at 3,355 miles an hour. So that's pretty cool because that's what's hitting the tissue at 3,355 miles per hour. Okay, let's see if this one goes. There we go. And this is what it looks like. It's not a great picture. This is from the International Shockwave Symposium in 2017 uh, in San Sebastian, Spain, where John Warlick and I attended with some other MTS from Germany. So you can see it's pretty cool. You can see the focal point, you can see the secondary shock waves, and you can see the other cool stuff there. All right, good, let me see. So, you know, what is a tensile wave? That high peak and low peak, right? The positive pressure that we see is a rapid upstrike in pressure. And the entire process takes three to four microseconds. In an event that happens quickly, there's nothing else like this that we see in medical devices. So you see that peak pressure at the top, and then that's the positive peak pressure, and then you see when the wave gets below the y-axis, that is the low pressure or the negative tensile wave. And that's where most of the biological effects are happening. Various levels of energy flux density is directed at that biological tissue. We're measuring it at millijoules per millimeter squared. And again, this is low intensity, unfocused, extracorporeal shock wave in comparison to the true lithotripsy devices in hospitals, it's about one-tenth of the strength. Uh, we are using the low intensity between 0 0.05 millijoules per millimeter squared to 0.16, okay? And again, it is, it's like standing on the shore and having the wave of a water hit your legs. That is the positive force. And then as that water sucks back against your back of your legs, that's the negative tensile force. So that's, that's a wave. That's me. I don't know if you can see me in that bottom. No, that's not me. How scary. Okay. So let's see if we can get to this one. Again, that's our wave. This is a unique characteristic. And again, happening in three to four microseconds. So remember, the biological effects, it increased blood flow, 
activates connective tissue, helps decrease pain, helps in wound healing, and it also increases stem cell production. So in the short term, what I've been telling our docs is it helps decrease pain, improve circulation, improve range of motion. And a lot of these, Carolyn worked on some great uh, Olympic athletes this past week, and they noticed an immediate decrease in pain and improvement in range of motion, right, Carolyn? It's almost like we have to put a brace on them because they feel so good. Yes, absolutely. Her comment was she felt as though her feet belonged to somebody else and her hips belonged to someone else. It, they were lighter, I think she said. Very light, very light, yes. And, you know, a couple of these slides I'm, I'm, t I'm using from Dr. Erwin Goldstein, who spoke in Orlando at, at the uh, International Sexual uh, Symposium. And he made a, he made a really a, a comment that I thought was pretty groundbreaking. He said that the Gaines wave or the radial pulse is almost like a sham. He said there's no negative or tensile component. And they have one eighth of the biological effects that we have. And, and the thing is, is that he called it a, a sham because they're using our research to confuse the consumer and providers out there. Isn't that correct, John? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, it was, it was refreshing to hear someone at that level. Um, and he also said the Orthogold 100, which you, all you doctors have, the, the FDA, has classified it as an NSR, which means non-significant risk. So that's cool. And also what makes ours a little different is the parabolic reflector, almost like the front lights, headlights in your car, they have that nice concavity in there. And that's the parabolic reflector, allows us to go deeper. And John, what would you say the depth of penetration a lot of those are? I mean, uh, that's where a lot of confusion comes in. The depth of penetration is technically when the shock wave enters the uh, surface of the skin, it'll pass completely through the, uh, the body until it exits in the air again. So every, every shock wave technically would do that. The, 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 the most important part, though, is that what depth do you have energy levels that are consequential or can have a therapeutic effect? Uh, all those gains wave type machines, you know, they have a therapeutic effect that one or two centimeters where we have a therapeutic effect up to 12, 13, or 14 centimeters, depending on the indication. Good. Thanks. Great point, John. All right. Let's see if we can get to this next one. All right. So this, this slide is a low intensity extracorporeal shockwave and cellular deformation. What I like so much is that, and that positive peak pressure is correlating to three different slides which show this, an actual cell. So in the top cell in the middle, you can see what a normal resting phase of that cell. In the second slide down in the middle, that's the compression phase. And that's where the cell actually compresses by 2%. Then you see where the negative tensile, where underneath that Y axis, I axis is where it's called the tensile phase and the cell actually expands 10 percent and that's where i think the shearing force happens and john you can correct me we have a lot of oxidative stresses that build up around that cell membrane and the unique characteristic of this trt device is that it shears that those those oxidative stresses that have built up around a damaged cell and now it allows the cell to have normal diffusion uh, and osmosis of water in and diffusion of waste products out. And, and, and that's where you get the, the, um, the exosomes that'll exit out of the body or cell and they'll also be on a, communicating on a cellular level calling for other helper cells to come to that area. So John, there's really no damage to the cell tissue, is there? No, that's what makes us unique. Uh, any of the radio devices, they rely essentially on causing trauma or causing harm to stimulate a biologic response. Like anybody, if you get punched in the arm, 
that stimulates a biologic response, but it hurts. So it's one step back, two step forward. We, we get to avoid the one step back. And in addition to that, their, two, their one step forward is only in a, you know, one centimeter uh, depth of penetration uh, benefit, whereas we have that huge benefit in the column, about two and a half diameters uh, wide and about 12 centimeters deep. Good. You know, and we did talk about at uh, CalJAM last month, I was lucky enough to connect with Dr. Josh Axe, and uh, we were able to treat Dr. Axe. Many of you don't know this, but Dr. Axe, um, he, he suffered a, a, a bad CrossFit injury about four years ago and has had debilitating back pain since. He, he actually has to sometimes stand through a dinner and uh, has, has issues. They have to prop him up in certain times when he's on webinars for long periods of time. And um, it's been an issue for him. So uh, John Warlick, who's on our call, was kind enough to get him up a device about three weeks ago. He's been able to use it almost every week. There's Dr. Axe and I. The guy is a specimen. I'm telling you, not an ounce of fat on his body. And I believe with our technology, uh, we'll be able to get him uh, back to 100%. There is uh, at a training day at Dr. Axe's house. That's his lovely wife, Chelsea. And uh, she was also a serious athlete and had some um, chondromalacia patella. So Josh is getting some work done on her, which is awesome. And then this was just today. Uh, this was a uh, Josh mentioned in a comment on Facebook after one of my posts working on Dr. Heather Duckett, he goes, amazing equipment and using it and it really works. So, I mean, this guy's been on Dr. Oz seven different times. He has got 2.5 million followers just on Facebook. Uh, he, he's going to, whatever works, it is, he's going to get behind and help endorse. And the, the wild thing is for the last four years, he said he's got close to a million dollars worth of medical device, devices that people have either given or he's bought to, to, to try to fix his back and nothing has helped him. So pretty exciting. Guys, this is the, um, the trifold that I think is, is so good at educating our patients and our community. Um, let me see if I got the second one. And then I'm going to bring John in. Let's see if I can get to this next page. Sorry, right there. How do we do it? Again, this talks about the technology of the wave. And uh, you guys can see that screen, correct? Give me a thumbs up. Thank you, Doc. So, you know, for good purposes, you know, TRT did not nickname this the stem cell machine. Um, Dr. Matt did not name it. It was featured on the show, The Doctors, on November 21st, 2019. And they, they were the one that said, what's the real deal with this device? And they nicknamed it the stem cell machine, which is cool. Um, but understand, you know, this is a, a good way to brand this for some of our clinics. And I'm excited. You know, we've got patented technology through TRT, stimulating healing naturally, activating, activating resident stem cells, and improving blood supply. So you guys can white label these. These are really a wonderful teaching tool and have helped increase our clinic um, from an education standpoint. Remember, your net worth is really your network. I'm, yeah, so how well you get that, that, that word out in your community. And, and Let's see if we got one more here. I think we have, okay. And now, now you see a picture of the Orthogold 100 and it's draped up. And the reason, John, can you explain to him, I'm showing the picture of the, um, of the TRT device ready in the infectious control part of Piedmont Hospital. John, tell us why this is so important. Ah, uh, wait, thanks for joining us. Uh... I wish <laughs> I was a little bit better prepared, but I'm, I'm happy to be here. One on, on the interesting uh, thing is on the large scale, 
the most important benefit that, that we offer is that we are absolutely proven, and I'm talking at Cleveland Clinic, UPMC, Hospital Special Surgery, UCSF, all the publications that go out, when, when you look at them, uh, what we can offer to everybody is that we can improve your autoimmune system. We can build your immune system up. So everybody can get a benefit from this, not just people who are uh, late stage you know, uh, patients. Uh, so everybody can get the benefit out there because if we treat you, we can help build your autoimmune system up. And oddly enough, we're doing it through a strange mechanism. Matt hadn't even talked about it, but it's through the reflexology portal uh, pathway. Uh, but the thing that everybody's talking about right now, and I have to give a caveat, you know, obviously there's no FDA approval. Obviously there's some huge liability involved, but we're, uh, it looks like we will Monday, Tuesday, we'll be treating our first coronavirus patients. And in the late stage, when those patients have this huge inflammatory response, uh, it's, it's sort of an over response since there's so much, it's like pneumonia, you have so much fluid in the lungs. Uh, not only is there a lot of fluid in the lungs, it's infect, it's, you know, it has infection. Um, so, for those late stage patients when there's nobody else, I was just reading an article today in Italy right now, if you're over 60 years of age and, and you go in the hospital, because of their lack of ventilators, they are not even going to offer you treatment. Uh, they, they just can't. There's such few uh, capital equipment out there to do it. So for those patients where there's nobody else in the rest of the world, and even here in the States, we will be treating these late stage patients who have the horrific, you know, uh, inflamed lungs, not only inflamed, it's fluid filled, not only fluid filled, but it's infected. Uh, and the odd thing is that our most basic responses are the most important. I mean, if you look at the value of our company, the stem cell response is the most important. But oddly enough, that really doesn't even come into play in this response. The, the most basic level is TRT, we modulate inflammation, we make redness and swelling go away, we make it go away quickly. Uh, that, that, that's number one benefit for these patients. Number two benefit is we have this huge antimicrobial effect and even some hypothesized antiviral, uh, either through the biofilms, the LL37 peptides and the improved blood supply. And three, another effect, which is absolutely our most basic, there's a mechanical effect. When, when he's talking about these uh, positive and negative uh, shock waves, there's the number one rule in physics that applies to us. Is, it's a it's a physical property of acoustic impedance. And when a shock wave passes from soft tissue into any other tissue of differing uh, impedance, you know, soft tissue to bone, for instance, when when a shock wave hits bone from soft tissue, it releases all of its energy. When it releases tissue of different uh, uh, of, you know of different densities, it releases energy. So we. And, and the first 20 lung patients that we've done, and all for differing type things, as soon as we treat these lung patients, they start coughing up huge amounts of mucus and phlegm. It has a mechanical effect it, on those interfaces between tissue and phlegm or tissue and mucus. It causes this disruption so that phlegm is dislodged from the lungs. And it has an amazing effect in these patients and for other patients with, with lung maladies. So within minutes of our treatment, they have this, they start coughing up all these huge amounts of phlegm and mucus, which in, in the short term, it's a little bit uh, uh, unsettling, but within an hour, when the patient has passed us, they have this immediate response. So oddly enough, the stem cell response is the least beneficial. The most basic things we do, the mechanical effects, and, and as well as the anti-inflammatory effects and the antimicrobial effects, those will come into play almost immediately for these late stage coronavirus patients. So we'd always been taught not to treat these patients just based on the high energy focus shock waves that we associate with kidney stones. But over the years, we've come to learn that was sort of a red herring and something we don't really need to worry about, especially with our patented parabolic reflector. We have this same amount of energy of anybody else but it's spread over a much larger area. So we're hugely optimistic that the most basic properties of this shock waves will offer a huge and almost immediate benefit for some of these coronavirus patients. And we're gonna start in a few hospitals here in the States, but most importantly, our founder and medical director, Dr. Wolfgang Schott, he's, he's worked his way up from a trauma surgeon in Austria. So he's now the number one person in charge of the entire uh, single payer insurance in Austria. 
So he is just within days should be able to launch on a national basis to where in Austria they should be treating all of these uh, coronavirus stations on a national level. So it's it's really exciting. But one, it's, you know, not something to go home and you know treat grandma, you know, without <laughs> thinking this thing through. But um, I mean, we're we're putting out a white paper by Wednesday. We'll have a white paper out that'll put all of this pen to paper, and it'll talk about not only the risk, but it'll talk about the the all of the different benefits we can have, especially broken out by each of the mechanisms of action. John, great, great points. Thank you for sharing. You, you know, with the influenza A and the response that patients are having from the coronavirus or COVID-19, there is, they call it the cytokine storm. Your body just can't downregulate this inflammation that's happening within the body, especially once it gets into the respiratory system. It, it, it stops the production of surfactant which is a natural lubricant that our alveoli use so that there's less friction when we're breathing, when our lungs are expanding and contracting. So without that uh, surfactant, these patients are developing this terrible fibrosis that is irreversible. And, and there's also this mucus, mucus buildup. So, you know, I know that Dr. Mullins and John had the hypothesis that, hey, we downregulate inflammation. If we're able to turn off, you know, because of interleukin-10 that's released when we use this device in our body, maybe that could help. So the first patient was treated. He had influenza A. He was a male patient down here at Piedmont Hospital on Tuesday. Right, John? He had one treatment, a yes, thousand sir. shock waves to the left lower low of the lung and they did his feet or no did they do the feet as well on him no nah, and actually we probably won't get into that here but oddly enough the, equally as important as treating the lungs directly is uh, uh matt hadn't really even shared but some of the most exciting things we're doing are uh utilizing the the reflexology channels to have to, to regulate the body's uh, inflammatory response we we seem to be able to control the systemic inflammation to the uh reflexology pathways in the body and 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 this sounds really crazy but if i were either if i only had to choose being able to treat the hands and the feet for the lungs or treating the lungs directly i would say treat the hands and the feet with the with, with the exception of our ability to dislodge the mucus with the, the mechanical uh mechanism of shockwaves great points and it's, so it's, it's important we combine both i i wouldn't want to just bring one of those tools to the party both of those tools are equally as important. Yeah, and, and you know, my clinic started off as a neuropathy clinic for years, so we were always using doing the bottom of the feet anyways, uh, and we started doing the hands after Jack Finney, and Jack's out of t Tennessee, correct? One of our early... Uh, no, actually, yeah, yeah, Kentucky, and, and oddly <laughs> enough, I've actually treated, I, I, I've treated a, a, a half dozen patients who have failed everything else. They failed a series of 10 erectile dysfunction treatments. Uh, they failed even the, the lumbar sacral treatments. But uh, as, as a last resort, I've gone back to them and just treated the uh, reflexology points on their hands and feet, and they've had almost an immediate response. So uh, all of these, you know, things need to be, you know, brought to bear in addition to the direct treatments, but the other options that we offer, the lumbar sacral and the reflexology, they're hugely important. And, uh, and I think if you it's almost an immediate effect, which is crazy to watch. You, you see within 24 hours, you see these responses. And I could tell two anecdotal stories. Uh, you know, Erwin um, Goldstein was doing some, he's had our, one of our devices since uh, uh, April of 2019. He runs the San Diego uh, Sexual Wellness Clinic. He's, he's nationally, if not world renowned. And he started using our device for erectile dysfunction. And he was at about 65%. And John really told everyone on a, on a couple calls, he said, guys, I'm telling you, start doing the lumbar plexus, those five spots that we use. And as soon as Dr. Goldstein started doing that, his wife, Susan, is also a research uh, statistical analysis person. So she was able to track, and they all of a sudden, they're at like 79, 80% success rate. 
Not to mention the great benefits he's gotten with PGAD, which is persistent genitalial arousal disorder. These young women and ladies, they have multiple orgasms throughout a, an hour or a minute. If they walk to the kitchen, it, it, it just becomes, they, they can't, it's debilitating to the point where it has a high rate of suicide associated with this condition. And what is Dr. Goldstein? Is he like 15 for 15 now for success? Yeah, I mean, yeah, nobody's ever. And, and, and what he learned is another huge benefit of shockwaves is it's incredibly diagnostic. You, you can be a half inch away from a tennis elbow and it does, it's totally painless. You move with a half inch away and you, you, you target the inflamed tissue and it lights up like a firecracker. And so we use this to, uh, when we were treating all of these women with these other uh, inflammatory uh, pathologies that we thought they would have inflamed, you know, for instance, a genitalia, we thought it'd be incredibly painful to treat, but when we started treating these patients, there was no response. And so we always had this theory and referred pain in sports medicine. So the hypothesis was that a lot of this inflammation could be coming from the lower back. And as soon as we tested it out the first time, these patients who have spent hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars and years and years uh, suffering from PGAD, 15 patients in a row while he was treating them one time on the, you know, on the table, treating the lower back, the symptoms went away immediately while he was treating them. And it's just the most amazing thing. We're the slash International Society of uh, Women's Sexual Health meeting, and we got two people got up and essentially said we saved their lives. And there's nothing else out there for these patients. So it's, it's, a, it's an amazing recovery. And this yeah. whole thing about referred to and information. John, it said you, you made a statement a, a, a couple years ago when I met you that it seemed like every two years, TRT was reinventing themselves on different conditions. Now it seems like every two or three months, which is, I think the more providers get this technology into the hands, like Carolyn, like Alan, uh, like Dr. Tomas out in Silverton, Colorado, the more stories like this we're going to hear. And it will allow us to do more white papers. I, you know, my neuropathy stuff, every patient that we do should be a case study. I've taught you when I come train your clinics, not only to be proficient and become a good technician with this device, but also how to document your results. And Dr. Allen, if you've got a minute, Dr. Allen has had this device for the last few months. And if you could just tell us, Alan, you, you first got it done on your shoulder. How, how has it personally helped you, and, and how, what have you seen in your clinic? Uh, well, I guess for myself, the shoulder, I, I wanted to try it out on my shoulder before I bought one. So when I went and did that, um, you know, this pain back here below the shoulder, the shoulder blade back behind the scapula, it's just, it's my pushing, it's the main pushing side for me in chiropractic. And over the years, it's just been really bad. So I got one treatment and um, it hurt afterwards. So I just made sure that that was normal and it, and it was normal, but it wasn't a bad hurt. It was more like I got sore all of a sudden. Um, and then the next day, the next day after that, it just got better and better. And honestly, um, it's gotten better and better ever since. And I've only had two treatments on it. But I quickly bought it after that. Um, How has then, it changed your clinic? What's that? How has it changed your clinic? What have you seen? Um, I've seen a lot. You know, in the chiropractic, I see miracles every day. There's no doubt about it, as you do. Um, but what I found is, is that there are so many different people that have so many different kinds of problems that chiropractic is not quick to resolve it can be very slow to resolve some of the chronic joint issues other than adjusting them. And then they, you know, they, you know, they can't move, you adjust your shoulder and all of a sudden they can move it. I'm talking about like um, things where there's tears that are old, you know, like 10 year old tears in their shoulder that this is healing. I have one person that has four documented and I have the MRI, it's all documented where he's got four tears. Not only does he have four tears, but he ripped the bicep tendon, and, the, and then the bicep balls up into this ball of a muscle. And so after the first treatment, he called our office and said it was the first time in months that he was able to sleep. So that was really cool. And then after that, 
he called back the next day and he said, I have zero pain. My pain went from like an eight out of 10 to zero. And so this is like four documented tears that this guy has in his shoulder where his pain went down to nothing. And, um, you know, he's a 67 year old guy. So it, and he's very, very active. And that's it. his main goal was to stay as active as he can. And he just said, he said, after, after this is healed so much only after only four visits, four weeks, he said he's not going to go have the surgery. He doesn't need to have the surgery. That's and, great. Um, you know, and then, and then I explained the best is yet to come because he hasn't even finished healing. So he's excited about that. And then if I can say one more thing, I, I have a lot of different, what I would call miracles in my office with this thing at this point. Um, one lady who has, and I remember texting you about this, has this disease called Freebird's disease in her foot. And she can't, there's no blood supply in her metatarsal bones. And she came hobbling into the office, and I have it all documented. And uh, one one treatment, one treatment, she came back the next day and said, "Look at me, I don't limp anymore." And and, uh, <laughs> and I got that on video too. But hey, Doctor Nate, so that cool. is so that awesome. Go ahead, John. Hold on one second, Nate. Go. No, I didn't realize that was Dr. Nathan there. So, yeah, um, he's doing some hey, have you, have you had a chance to do the pancreatitis patient? That's going to be this week. But I, I, I am, I have, uh, since you mentioned that, I reached out to John Finney. I reached out to uh, Dr. Shodden. And, and I, with saw, nine, I saw the emails. With 90% certainty, if you treat the reflexology spots on his hand and feet, that's going to go away. Well, that would be a miracle. Yeah, that that. I mean, be the, when I talked to you first time, I thought maybe ten percent, but now I, I've, I've I've chatted to everybody doing this because this is new to me too, the reflexology side of this. But I and if and if per chance that doesn't work when you do the lower back, I mean, I will bet you a case of the finest <laughs> wine that you want that between the back and the hands and feet, that pancreatitis patient, uh, the, the symptoms will go away after just this one or two treatments. You know, I, what, I, look, I, look, I look forward to following up with you after that treatment. For sure. One of the things that I love about this machine is it, it, it works. There's no doubt about it. It works. But it's one of those things that I'm so excited about because these people that I'm talking about that where her husband has pancreatitis, he can't work anymore. They have no money. And I'm doing this. Not that, you know, we all do this. We all give away our services when it's appropriate to do that. But I'm going to do this for nothing. I, I, you know, her, her gratitude was, she's got so much hope right now that this is going to do something for her husband. Um, and I, I'm just really excited about that. One more thing. I got one more testimonial where I got a guy who, um, he couldn't close his fist. Like, it was like this. This is as, as much as he could close. And his finger was stuck out like that. He couldn't close it at all. So um, on the 18th day, I have him on video. On the 18th day, he goes, look at this. And he closed it like this. And he goes, I'm stronger than it's been in, you know, years. He said, I just canceled my carpal tunnel surgery. So I don't know. This is crazy. This is good. Two surgeries that, that you've already avoided. You've had it for three months. Yeah. By yeah. Way, yeah. You're not going to be invited to your surgeon friend's uh, dinner party today. I promise you that. Okay. Hey, I had that same conversation with an ENT many years ago about chiropractic and kids and ear infections. And, and after the comments that they made about, you know, it's just part of my business, I had to walk away. So I don't look back. I don't look back on those guys. Good, good. Hey, has, has anybody tried this for trigger finger yet? Is, is that, that yeah, that was part of this. Yeah. Hey, guys. I mean, before uh, I that, that's almost immediate. It's amazing. It's a board. I can't do it. And then it goes pop and I can do it immediately. Yeah. So listen, um, last thing we're going to do, and, and we're going to try to jump on one of these calls every week to, to share some of these great successes. Carolyn, great job again, working with uh, coach Rose Monday and some amazing athletes. John, the thing that we were most surprised of, and Carolyn, if you could unmute yourself. Yeah. The, 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 we couldn't get the energy level above four or five on some of these patients, John. They had like such 
inflammation in their lower ex body and their extremities. No, I should I should have warned I should have warned you about that. I mean, I have personal experience where I put my life on the line. I'll go in these professional basketball players' locker room and. The, the coach will call me in, and the, Dr. O'Malley will send me out there with a the machine. These seven foot guys, and I'm not seven foot, and they'll send me down around those guys' ankle. And I'm so used to doing a typical patient where I'll start with level ten for what I think you know acute pain or you know chronic pain. And these people, this it's, it's you've never seen this horrific look on their face. The most painful thing they've ever happened. These professional athletes and and Olympic athletes, their inflammatory levels are quadruple what average John Doe who walks in the office. Uh, we treated this, uh, the professional uh, basketball player from Ohio State. He was with the Memphis Grizzlies. Oh, Michael Conley. Yeah. Conley. And we could never get above level four or five. And when we, we, we did it four, and I said, this is never going to work. It's never going to work. But he was screaming like a baby at level four and five. Three weeks later, Dr. O'Malley calls me on the telephone. I thought he was going to chew me out for wasting his time. He goes, in four weeks since the first treatment, he goes, I have never seen an MRI change in four weeks. Whatever you did to Michael Conley, he goes, it was a miracle. He goes, it, it's absolutely cleared up. It's gone. It's perfect. And we never got past level four or five. And I said, it's impossible. It'll never work. So I just written that patient off. But he is absolutely, he was 100% after, you know, six weekly treatments at level four or five. But, but the professional athlete, to be warning, they, it's so much more painful for them because this the repetitive overuse that they do. It's it's it, 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 you know it's so hard. It's like thoroughbred horses, for instance. So you really got to turn it down for the Olympic or professional athlete. Carolyn, what a what a smart I, 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 observe, I observed that completely the same thing, and it was interesting. I was going like from L four to L five then S through S1 through 5. What was interesting to me, the closer I got to S5, they almost went through the ceiling. Uh, I mean, the whole, the whole, that whole, you know, that whole plexus was just like on fire. And I had, all of them, I had to go down to the 4 and 5s. And uh, the guys were so funny. One of them, he registered pain as he'd go into fits of laughter. And I had to like tell, you've got to communicate with me, man. So I kept, I kept, kept lowering it down and he went into just bits of laughter because it was killing him and he was designed himself to try to overcome it and, and I said no 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 that's not what we're doing so I, I definitely had to lower it uh, for e all three of them uh, and it was wild uh, even, even on their feet uh, some of them had major issues on their feet <clears throat> I actually have um, pictures which I'm going to try to get in some really great form to put on our TRT uh, site that has the meridians of the hands and the feet that actually show you organ by organ what area this thing operates. Yeah, that, that's what we're talking about. We're, we're really excited about that. We just It's all anecdotal right now, but, but it well, puts, everything we're talking about, this puts to shame, all of these meridians and reflexology stuff. It's yes, really it amazing is. to work with it. One thing I might mention to you is you may want to look up a guy named Jerry Tennant, T-E-N-N-A-N-T, -N 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 who has written a book called Healing is Voltage. And in that, uh, there are four different books that he's written, but one of them, he, he goes over the acupressure points and it's very specific about healing and voltage and cell membrane potential. And now all, everything, physics, everything is all coming together in such a, a masterful way uh, with biofrequencies and all that. So it, it, everything is starting to congeal uh, in, a, in an, a unique way, looking at all these different modalities that, that traditional Chinese medicine brings to us that I wouldn't have believed years ago. I would have thought it was hooey, but it's, it completely is not. It so shocked me how really accurate this stuff is. So I'll try to, I'll try to load those those photographs of the hands and feet, the, the Chinese meridians for you. Okay. Hey, last thing before we all break, I had to. I want to. I want to just tell you what a small world. Coach uh, Rose Monday, who's uh, head coach of the uh, Olympic track and field, she actually knows Michael Conley's father very well. Right, Carolyn? Wasn't that a funny story? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. So he knew Michael when we told that story. Okay. Last but not least, I'm going to show you these. Uh, commercials um, that I hope 
that you'll be able to use as soon as uh, we finish up our, our, our this uh, coronavirus issues. But uh, let's see if we can play it. Chronic pain makes it hard to enjoy life. You want to keep up with the rest of the crowd, but your pain makes it nearly impossible. Head into Health Med Clinics of Atlanta for a new progressive therapy, a non-invasive treatment that can help your body heal. Sessions are quick with diagnosis and treatment in as little as 10 minutes. True lithotripsy that helps accelerate your body's natural healing ability. Call or go online to schedule your appointment today for a special first-time offer of just $49. Finally, stem cell options that won't cost you an arm and a leg. Boom. So That's good. Thank you. How much, how much does it... How much were you paying for that? Forty-eight dollars. How much am I paying for that? What, Bella, can you help me? No, I mean, for, um, on the. How much did you pay the TV station? I, I mean, hold on a second. Let me see. Are you are you guys still on? Yes. All right. Um, hey, Matt, I got to take this phone call. I'm, no worries. I'm off. Hey, nice talking to you. I'll, call me anytime. Bye bye, Thank John. You. Here. Bye bye. So, so. We actually, it's funny, the first thing out of your mouth is how much it costs. I mean, it's a 22 yeah. that we've got three different commercials, two that will be able to run on any Cox Media across the country, and then we have a social media spot. We've actually partnered with Cox Media. They've been following what, I've worked with them since 2013. Um, with our clinics here and, and, and running locally in Atlanta. So for the last year and a half, uh, my ad rep, Russell Wagner, has been watching the unbelievable uh, TRT, tissue regeneration technology. So he's the one, we started this process about four months ago to put a high quality um, commercial together that we could put on a national basis and each clinic could white label it for their area. So Cox Media will also pick the best spots and times so you get the same type of results that we've been getting with our other uh, commercials. So, awesome. yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's about a $22,000 investment that, that, that I've personally made and, um, and Cox Media is going to help us. So for you guys to white label that, it's going to be $1,500 okay. to make it for your own right. regional spot. And then obviously anything um, above and beyond, you will, um, you, you'll pay for your, your, your media spots, okay? Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's gonna be great. We've gotta get through this a little bit here. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I do feel that this uh, you know, coronavirus uh, and this pandemic that's going on is gonna take us uh, you know, 45 to 60 days to get out of it um, till we're somewhat normal. You know, they do say that 80% of our population will be affected by this in some way. 20% uh, will have severe symptoms and could be hospitalized. 5% of the people will be in ICU or have to be on ventilators. And they estimate of 330 million people in America that 480,000 will die. So this is no joke. Right. And it's one of the reasons, like, we don't want you doing shockwave on lungs right now. There, you know, I think I told you on the last one that there's toll-like receptor three and four is released when we use it over the, in different parts of the body and it could be damaging to the lungs. So this is in end stage or late stage. And we want you all to, to, to understand that let's watch what happens with this white paper with Dr. Mullins at Piedmont Hospital and what they do. And obviously Dr. Wolfkind Schaden in Austria and I think in Germany, they already treated the first um, patient that was uh, on a ventilator. And again, that patient with influenza A, who had one treatment on Tuesday, came off the ventilator less than 24 hours later. So John and Dr. Mullen's hypothesis may be correct. Okay, guys, uh, we'll, once a week, we're going to try. I apologize we had to do on Sunday. We did not get to record last time because of some technical difficulties, but this one we'll make available to all our TRT clinics. Any other questions? Alan? No, thanks for letting me be a part of it. All right, thank you for all your good work you're doing, and I love your videos every two or three days. You're putting them out, man. You're doing some great work. Thank you so much.
Carolyn, thanks again. You were on both. And Tammy, you were also on both. Thank you guys both. Enjoy Thank the rest you. of your Sunday. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. You're awesome. Thanks. All right.